Criterion Racing is um, very intense. With one. It's the bike version of what like NASCAR would be. You're gonna feel uh, the Peloton coming by because it's so compact and it's so fast. The Peloton carries like this this energy and this wind, right? So as they come by, you kind of you hear it and you feel it. You just see guys ripping around corners faster and tighter than you, you think people should be going on a bike. Yeah. It's really intense and it takes a lot of a hyper focus to kind of survive it most of the time. There's always people crashing. There's a million things going on at once. It's an incredibly exciting sport, that is for sure. And Justin is just one of its pioneers. As one of the only black athletes on tour, he's looking beyond his own career and accomplishments to help other potential cyclists of color. I don't know if I've ever felt like <laughs> like an inspiration, but I definitely want to be, and, and everything that we do is geared toward trying to inspire that next generation of, of kids that come up from the places that we come up. Uh, being a cyclist, for me, has given me so much perspective on the outside world, right? And even if guys, you know, even if kids that come from the background that I come from don't become professional cyclists, the bike is a tool that gives them uh, reach, right? It gives them freedom uh, and, it, and it allows them to kind of understand that there's more going on in the world than, than what is happening in their bubble. Now, Justin has been very active during these days, sharing his views on the strife happening in our country. And despite the current unrest, he sees something very special happening around us. There's a sense of hope that comes from understanding that we're going through something that's really, really bad, but also uh, what can happen moving forward where you have all of these different kinds of people, which is what America is, uh, al uh, aligning themselves with the, and being on the right side of, of what's gonna happen in the future, what needs to happen in the future. People need to understand that the battle is not amongst each other. The battle is for equality for all of us. And he also notices that positive movement happening in his sport as cycling progresses to include and embrace people from all walks of life, and backgrounds. There's so many different groups. There's so many uh, clubs that are super inviting. People are growing this like really cool tolerance for accepting other people's cultures and kind of like letting them thrive and enjoying them, right? Um, so that's been really cool to see. 